Hey, it's Central Valley Business. I'm your host, Steve Walling, and my guest for this segment is Danette Carter with Tulare County Chamber of Commerce. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Danette. You know, there was a time when the Central Valley was a very quiet little place from one end to the other. But, man, the Central Valley is hopping today, and Tulare is one of those places, oh, isn't it? it absolutely is, <laughs> and definitely for Tulare. Yeah. And I'm enjoying what I'm doing there with the Chamber of Commerce mm -hmm. and all of the activity within our community. We have a lot of housing development, which it's is exciting. Growing. Yes, growing, growing, growing. Uh -huh. So we're at 67,000 now, but I know we're getting up there more and, and more every day. And you're getting bigger, and, yeah. you know, you're you're fairly close to, like, Fresno. If someone wanted to, you know, the prices there are really great in the mm -hmm. housing market, you know, so oh, things are moving, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And, so. of course, with that, you're going to see, you know, more jobs coming to the community, too. Mm -hmm. So we oh, have absolutely. a lot of uh, new retail development yeah. that we're pretty excited about that whenever someone is um, A lot of infrastructure stuff going on. Absolutely. Yeah. So And that infrastructure is going to help us with additional, you know, future housing and uh, retail development as well as, you know, manufacturing, all of those things that you like to bring jobs into mm -hmm. your community. I mean, we still are... You know, predominantly a very strong ag base in our community, and we're proud of that, as oh, is yeah. Tulare County. And, of course, we always talk about Tulare being the dairy capital of the world. So, I've heard that rumor. Yeah, there's a lot of cows in our community, <laughs> and um, as everyone always says, that's kind of the smell of money when you smell those cows. Oh, and that's a way They're good to see in our there community. There you go. And, and you've got a lot of activities going on through the chamber, yeah, don't you? Yeah, we do. And so we have activities that we do ourselves, and mm -hmm. then we partner with other types of things within our community. Yeah. So coming up in the month of September. There's a lot that's happening. Of course, uh, there is the Tulare County Fair, which runs September 12th through the 16th, and that is actually in the community of Tulare. Mm -hmm. And uh, kind of an unknown fact is that the Chamber of Commerce actually started the fair many, many decades ago. So we're proud to still remain a partner with the Tulare County Fair. One of the things that we do too, which is something that was newly introduced last year, is that we are in charge of the Veterans and Senior Day program that happens. And that is very special for many reasons, one of which is there are senior citizen discounts on September 13th, which is Always Thursday of the thing. fair. We like those. Yeah. And our veterans get in for free. Oh, it that's is, awesome. Yeah, big veterans appreciation on oh. that day. And another thing that happens is a program called the Quilts of Honor. So all of our local quilters get mm -hmm. together and they make patriotic quilts that are then awarded in thanks to our veterans who have served our country. Oh. Yeah, we're really excited. Last That's year was special. the first time. It yeah. was very special. We a lot have of a tears, I lot of tears, a lot of <laughs> pride as yeah. well. And so we have a really nice patriotic ceremony that happens. And then we have our youth, our FFA and 4-H mm -hmm. kids, mm -hmm. actually present the quilts and wrap them on the shoulders of our veterans. Mm -hmm. And that happens at 12 p.m. Mm -hmm. on September 13th. And our uh, there's a special information fair that happens that day, too, for veterans and seniors. So a lot of booths that are going to be there from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Well, speaking of veterans, uh, in Tulare, are, are there veteran um, things available to them, you know, what, what, what a, what a oh, absolutely. Yeah. You know, we definitely have our veterans' offices available. Uh -huh. And something that also folks don't know is that the AMVETS California, their main office is in downtown Tulare. Is it really? Yes. So AMVETS is very active uh -huh. with providing a variety of different types of services. And actually, their marketing director co-chairs this event with me, Sharon Allison. So if anyone is looking for services, you know, get, give us a call at the chamber, and we'll get you in touch, you know, awesome. with AMVETS. And, you know, come join us at this event. Definitely a great day to come down to the Tulare County mm -hmm. Fair on that Thursday. So, But of course the fair is for multiple days, so a right. lot of activity. So, but the chamber's there Monday through Friday, right? Absolutely. So people Monday through are, Friday and into Saturdays and Sundays sometimes but, too, depending on what we're people doing. People that are interested in Tulare and what's going on and active in Tulare and, you know, maybe they just want to come, you know, visit or whatever. Uh, they can check in with you. Absolutely. You've always got a list of stuff going on, right? Definitely. We keep a list of what's happening in the area. We get a lot of visitor traffic, of mm -hmm. course. You know, we are one of the uh, gateway communities yes. for the Sequoias. Oh, so yeah. people coming into the Sequoias to visit those big trees. So we have a lot of hotels in Tulare. So we have a lot of visitor traffic. We have the outlet center there. And, of course, we are home to the World Ag Expo. So, I have seen that. Yeah. Just, just a little event for a hundred and some thousand Small. people. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll be gearing up uh, for that. Of course, that'll be happening in February, right. and we'll welcome people from all over the world. The International Agri Center is very busy with events year-round, yeah. so it's always a 
definite place you want to check out and see what's happening there. And of course, they have a wonderful museum that's there, and they have the Ag Ventures Learning Center, which is all about ag. It's a great place to take the children and even adults too, because mm -hmm. it's fun to learn there. So, how, how do I get a hold of the chamber there? At so, the Chamber of Commerce, you can yeah. reach us at 686 1547, or of course, just go on to our website, tularychamber.org, mm -hmm. and follow us on Facebook. Okay. And you'll yeah. also find a couple um, of other activities and events we have. One thing, we do partner in the 9-11 blood drive that, yeah. of course, does happen on September 11th. Mm -hmm. That information is available on our website. We usually have about 1,000 blood donors. Awesome. For, yeah, it's a very big day in our community and a good day to support you know, first responders. And then, of course, we have the Crush Party event. Ooh, yeah. well, what's, what's the Crush Party? Crush Party, so that is all about wine and food. So... And that is when? That is happening <laughs> on Friday, September the 21st. And we do that event in collaboration with the College of the Sequoias Foundation as a benefit for them and for the Chamber's education programs. Happens actually at the COS Tulare campus, which is, it? yeah, it's a beautiful campus. Very, uh -huh. very modern, kind of an art deco, some of us say, that we yeah. just love the way it's been designed. So we invite cool. everyone to come out and join us for a great evening of wine and good food. It's a wonderful way to end your Friday. Day, you mm -hmm. know, at the end of your week, you just come out and have a good time, do some networking, silent auction. We actually give away 109 bottles of wine on this beautiful wine tree Whoa, that night, too. Sounds good. So, yeah, it's a lot of fun. So, yeah. there's a lot of activity happening. And, of course, we're also about business. So, anyone interested in any of the workshops and mm -hmm. seminars that we have coming up or needing business startup or sustainability assistance, they just give us a call, the Tulare Chamber of Commerce. Tulare Chamber of Commerce. It's a hopping place. Yes, it and is. Thanks for being with us. Bring Thank us up to date. You're going to come back soon and Absolutely. as things happen because, you know, the Central Valley is becoming a real happening place now. You know what? It <laughs> definitely is. And I'm proud to be a part of the Central Valley. Go. Thank so you. So are we. And we'll see you when we come back.